Namaste Masters. Today, day 3 in 21 ITP. Yesterday, in the concept, we saw pressure 1. That is, shift your consciousness from body to emotions, emotions to mind, mind to intellect or the soul. Today, the second concept, the pressure two is, do not be a flickering light. You must avoid being a flickering light. One must steady himself. One must commit If you are committed to a book, you must complete the book, then move on to the second book. Half here, half there, then the third book, then the fourth book, then the fifth book, here and there, here and there. Without completing any book properly, if we keep on doing this act, then we are called flickering lights. You may read two books in parallel, no problem. But we should never do a half bitten works. Read one chapter in a book, put it away. Then read one or two chapters in another book, put it away. It won't help you. And when you stick to a meditation, you must commit yourself minimum five mandalas. That is five into 41 days. 205 days, you have to stick, you have to consistently practice, you have to be sincere. Without missing a single day, then after 205 days, you can decide whether to continue or not, because by then you will be very much aware what this meditation and how this meditation is impact your life. And people come and say, I have been practicing for 10 days, no result. I have been practicing for 20 days, healing is not happening. It simply means they are called flickering lights. They try Kundalini meditation for one month, Vipassana for one month. Shambhavi Mudra for one month, Bhavala Siddhi for one month. There is no result. If you are not steady, the flickering lights are nothing but the flickering minds. You don't have steadiness in anything. You keep on cooking here, there, there, here. Nowhere you will get the results. I remember one beautiful event that my sister told me, many of you know, let me reiterate. Because the truth has to be reiterated again and again. When my sister's daughter and son was doing an experiment, they just took a pot, they saw a seed and every day they are watering. For more than a one month, there was no sprout. My sister one day went along with the kids to see what is exactly happening. Every day, they are pulling out the seed to see whether the germination is coming or not. And then they sow it again. My sister laughed and told me in the call, this is what the kids are doing. I said, what a beautiful example you gave. I am going to use it. Every day, we have huge expectations, but practice is very less. If your mind is only focused on the results, you will never achieve it. Your mind should be focused on the process then the result will follow you. If your focus is on Lakshmi, 
you will never achieve. If your focus is on Saraswati, the Lakshmi will follow. This is the truth. You must focus on the process and you must not be a flickering light. You must add some pressure to you saying, until this 205 days, let me mark in the calendar, I am going to meditate every day, no matter what. There are certain things which we do every day in our life. It can be brushing the teeth, it can be a simple prayer, or counting how much money you have. There are certain things we always do. So, it is not new for us to follow anything consistently daily. If you want results, you should not be a flickering light. You must be a consistent and a constant person. You must be a sincere and serious person. People say, I've been meditating for two, three months I left and again I'm joining. What is the use? When the rice preparation is kept, it takes 20 minutes, 30 minutes for the rice to get prepared. For the baby to be born, it takes nine months. For a meditator to become master, it will take 205 days. In this 205 days process, you must every day meditate, read books, listen and share your experiences. I did this in the year 2004 for 205 days without a break and I became a master. Thereon, there is no looking back. It has become part and parcel of my life. I don't need to remember, oh, I should meditate today. Oh, I should read the books. Oh, I should share. No, it has become part and parcel. Then my whole life got changed. The physical health, the mental health, the emotional health, the intellectual health. All these things, it's in your hands. You have to commit. There will be examinations. Yeah, you will be very busy reading. But if you add meditation, your pressure will come down. Instead of reading for 10 times with fear, just if you read twice, it is enough. Meditation is an aid. It will help you in everything you do. Don't see it as an extra activity where you need to spend time. When you meditate regularly, all other works, you can do it very quickly. It's a catalyst in our life. So no matter what, when somebody is born, when I go there, I meditate. When somebody dies, I go there, I meditate. Everywhere we must find opportunity to meditate. Then and there, our minds can be cleansed. Our energies can be regained. The very important thing is, you must add little pressure to yourself, only little pressure, that every day you must meditate consistently. Don't be a flickering light. Don't jump between zooms. Oh, this zoom, that zoom, that zoom, this zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. You will not achieve anything. This master, that master, that master, this master. Shortcuts. Somebody is opening third eye, oh, running. Without the foundation, if you are building a big building, huge building, it will fall down. Until the base chakras are strong, if your third eye is open, gone. Don't go for any chakra meditations. Don't go for any third eye meditations. All these things Buddha has given 2,500 years ago. No matter who says anything. He is a scientist. He has experimented. And finally he said, breath us. Observe the breath. That is enough. 
if you expect results in a very short term always remember healing is a slow process healing is not quick if for someone the healing is quick it's okay it has started somehow some down somewhere down the line and the result we are seeing here doesn't mean for everybody the healing will quickly happen the physical health the emotional health the mental health the spiritual health there are so many healths and we don't know which requires our attention right at this moment the breath knows we must only observe the breath in this nostril area sometimes the breath goes to muladhara sometimes it stops until agni chakra but we should not control the breath we should only observe the breath we should never be a flickering lights flickering light simply means jumping between one and to another it can be a book it can be a master it can be a meditation it can be zoom session it can be youtube channels you are going to damage yourself more stick to something stay there and decide only after five mandalas that is the commitment you must give to yourself if not you are wasting your time decide but decide very firmly and stick to the decision else you will not achieve anything in your life it takes it takes time to open up it takes time for healing it takes time for everything if you get anything very suddenly it will fall down very suddenly so remember my dear friends add pressure to yourself that we must not be a flickering minds but we must be a slow and steady person people ask i have a lot of time how much time should i dedicate whatever we are doing here 45 minutes of book reading 15 minutes of experiences or concept sharing here 3 hours of meditation is more than enough if you still want to do more remember 3 plus 2 plus 1 3 hours of meditation 2 hours of book reading 1 hour of sajana sangatya that is a max and what we are doing here is enough but if you want more 3 plus 2 plus 1 is enough 6 hours anything beyond that your wish because when we have taken the physical bodies we must experience many things in the body we must not ignore this when you go and meet people when you do business when you go to jobs when you do cooking when you take care of the family life there so many things we experience the soul needs all those experiences so balance the life properly and the right way today concept is a beautiful concept do not be a flickering light be a very steady person Slow and steady wins the race. We know that from the childhood, but it is important that you apply. Practical. Thank you very much. Now let us begin the meditation.